After Effects, plus a dancing astronaut equals a really good time. But as the title of this video says, we're gonna create this really awesome title poster right here in After Effects, but unfortunately, the dancing astronaut is sold separately. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Before we jump into the tutorial, please be sure to drop a like on this video because it helps us out tremendously, and let's get started. All right, here we are in After Effects. You can download our project files for free if you wish to follow along or break this down. So we're gonna start off with a blank composition. This is 1920 by 1080. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is grab your textile tool and type out your very first title. All right, so we have a title in here, and what we want to do once you have that text typed out, we'll go ahead and select that layer, go to Layer, Pre-Compose, and we'll name this comp Text Placeholder 1, and click OK. And then we'll go into this composition by double-clicking on it, and here's where we kind of want to get creative, right? So maybe I'll add a hyphen here, and I'll go ahead and add, say, like another text layer to this as well. And our goal here is to make sure the text is kind of big. So we don't want to go ahead and try to fit this in this composition because we're going to resize this anyway. So feel free to make your text as long as you like uh, with the size that you want to use. So once we're ready to move on here, what we can do is go to composition, click on composition settings. We can extend the width and this is very important. So the goal here is to extend the width to have a little bit of empty space before and after the text and then come here to the height and close this down so we have very little empty space above and below the text. So what I wanna do is make sure that there's gonna be a shape around one of our titles. So to do this is very easy. We come here and grab the rectangle tool and we'll just simply draw out a shape around our title like this, okay? And we'll make sure that the shape layer is underneath that title. Toggle switches and modes until you see the track mat and set the track mat for the shape layer to alpha inverted mat. So having the shape around our text is going to make a huge difference in the final product. So I suggest doing it. Another thing we want to do is quickly go ahead and create ourselves a new solid. Uh, and this will be our background. And we'll select a very dark gray color, not pure black, but very dark gray. It's going to look great for the overall shade of the scene. And we'll put this underneath everything. All right. So then we go back to our previous composition, which is our main comp. And here is everything, right? So what we want to do is select our composition, hit R on our keyboard for rotation, and set the rotation to negative 90 degrees. Then we'll select the layer here and we'll pre-compose this and we'll call it Title Seamless 1 and click on Move All Attributes to New Comp, click OK. Then we'll double click on the composition that we just pre-composed. And then we need to go up to Composition, Composition Settings, and we need to go ahead and change the height up to 3000 and click OK. This way we'll be able to see our title here. So then what we do, select our layer, go to Effect, Stylize, and we're gonna grab Motion Tile. And we'll come here to the Output Width and we'll go ahead and expand this. And then simply we're gonna add a keyframe for Tile Center. We'll come here to the end of our timeline and we'll go ahead and animate the X value to go in one direction. So I'll have it go downward here. And then we have this animated, you'll have this nice scroll going along our uh, composition. So then we go back to our main composition. All right, so now what we wanna do is come here to the top, grab the rectangle tool, and we're simply just gonna draw out a mask somewhere around the bottom part of our, and then what we'll do is we'll take this title, go to Edit, Duplicate, and then we'll hit M on our keyboard for the mask, and we'll set the mask to Subtract. Then what we're gonna do here is simply just grab the bottom layer here, come here to the top, grab the Pan Behind tool, and you'll see the anchor point right here. Go ahead and just move it to the top part of our title like this. So it should be right here off that cut, that anchor point. So then we can toggle switch to the modes, set the bottom layer to a 3D layer, then hit R on keyboard for rotation, and set the X rotation to, you know, you could do roughly around negative 90 degrees, but I'll do like negative 80. Then we gotta make sure that the mask isn't cutting off the title by too much. So just hit M on keyboard for the mask. And then we can readjust the mask by selecting the points closest to us and just dragging it out like this. So now we have both these layers working together kind of in a conveyor belt situation. But before we move on, if you're looking to save time while producing awesome work, we have over 15,000 templates for you to use in After Effects and Premiere Pro. With the Motion Duck extension, you can preview, apply, and modify any of the templates within a few clicks. Be sure to check our links in the description below to take a look at all the template packs that we have. And of course, you can download our free After Effects and Premiere Pro packs as well. Those links are in the description below. So the good news is all the tedious work is now done. Everything from here will be unique duplicates and super easy to do. So. First things first, what we'll do is we'll grab our two comps here. We'll hit P on keyboard for position. And just by adjusting the X position, we can move this around our composition. And you're also welcome to go to edit duplicate. Welcome to also change the color here so you can keep track of everything. And we can move this say to the other side of our composition as well. And we can offset this in our timeline so they're not in at the same exact moment. And you can also experiment by going to effect channel and grabbing invert and you can copy and put in both layers if you wish. 
and this will just make things seem a little bit more unique and different very quickly. But what about adding in completely unique titles or objects? You can see here we have outline text, uh, and these are different sizes. So this is very easy to do. All we're gonna do is come here to our project panel. All we're gonna do is duplicate our text placeholder one. So duplicate it and then you'll have text placeholder two. We can double click on it. We can change out our text really quick. So maybe this time around, I'm only gonna use one text layer. So I'll do, go ahead and delete everything and I'll just go ahead and type out my text. And this time I can do like maybe like an outline. So we can come here to the stroke fill icon and you can turn your title into a stroke. So one thing we could do here is maybe make this title even smaller. So I'll go ahead and scale it down. You know, maybe that's okay. Fit it very similar to what we had before. Go back to the composition settings and just crunch down on the height. The goal is to make sure that there's no empty space around the title. And then we'll simply come here back to our project panel. We'll duplicate title seamless one. So now we'll have title seamless two. We'll double click on it. We'll go ahead and select the layer in here and we'll go ahead and select the layer in the project panel. Hold down Alt on your keyboard, click and just drag it into the timeline. And that will automatically replace it. So you don't have to readjust any of the settings. Then we'll go back to our main composition go ahead and duplicate one of these. We'll go ahead and just move that bad boy over. And then we'll come here to Title Seamless 2 in our project panel, hold down Alt, and make sure that these two layers are selected. Hold down Alt and just click and drag it in there. And then that automatically replaces it. I'll go ahead and delete the invert effect on these. And I went ahead and made another quick duplicate here in the timeline. So feel free to use this process to creating new different types of banners and connecting them together. All right, so I went ahead and created my duplicates, all the same process. I'll quickly show you how the text was laid out. So this was the first one that we did with the shape title. Uh, this is the second one with the outline text. I quickly duplicated that one again and did a, just a fill text. And then this one is just another title with a white background attached to it. So go ahead and be very creative with what you use here. And it's up to you how many unique copies you wish to have. So if we look at our composition here, it's just black and white. But if we look at our you know, demo comp, we had a little bit of lighting or shading attached to this project, which makes a huge impact on the overall final look. So we'll go ahead and create that real quick, add a little bit of shading into this. So the first thing we'll do is go to layer, new adjustment layer, and we'll quickly go to effect, uh, noise and grain, we'll quickly add noise to this, set the noise up to 12%, uncheck use color noise, it makes a big difference in your work, but you have to see it yourself. And then go to effect, uh, perspective, and grab a CC spotlight. The spotlight effect has two anchor points by default. There's one here in the center and there's one here at the top. We'll go ahead and grab this top one, bring it above the composition right in the middle. And we'll go ahead and just bring this up by a little bit. And then we're gonna go ahead and adjust these settings here on the left. We'll come here to height, set that up to 100. Let's come here to cone angle and set it to 40. Set the edge softness to 100% and we'll set the intensity to 25%. So just a little before and after in that spotlight, it just kind of adds a small vignette to it, but I love the control of the spotlight effect. And then let's go ahead and create one more adjustment layer, make sure it's underneath the previous one. we will come here to effect, generate, and we'll grab CC light sweep. The CC light sweep has one anchor point. We'll go ahead and take this anchor point and just put it here on the bottom part of our title here. We'll set the direction to, I don't know, 90 degrees. And it's going across here, so it's very subtle at this point. We'll set the width to say maybe 250. We'll change the sweet intensity up to like 30, the edge intensity to zero, and we'll change the light reception from add to composite. And if you wish to add a dancing astronaut, you're more than welcome to, but you can obviously add an overall title or a logo, whatever information you wish to convey in your scene. Uh, simply this can be used as a background or just as a really cool element for your project. For those of you that love doing typography, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Something Film, because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here. And always be creative.